Welcome. Today, we're going to be focusing on igniting the inner fire within ourselves through asana and as well as what is called ujjayi breath. Ujjayi breath is when you inhale through the nose and create a wave-like sound in the back of your throat, almost like a hum. And you continue this noise and sensation as you exhale. This results in the heating of your body from within. So let's begin warming up our bodies with this ujjayi breath, sitting in our comfortable seat as we circle our arms up and down to prayer. Ready? Let's take a slow inhale through the nose. Listen to the calm ocean waves. Exhale, continuing the waves. Again, inhale slow and exhale. Release to prayer. Inhale and exhale well done let's stand and continue this ujjayi breath facing the side of your mat take a wide stance with the feet turned out to the sides inhale bend the knees and reach the arms up exhale hands to anjali mudra goddess pose utkata konasana Try to lower your hips until your knees are right over your ankles. You can adjust your feet a little wider or a little closer together, whatever you need. Continuing that breath. Inhale, feel the fire within you. Exhale, send breath to the thighs. Feel them strengthening. Press the palms together and feel that resistance in each hand. Slide the shoulder blades down your back. Shift your gaze slightly upward sending light into the universe. Inhale, reach the arms out and overhead. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center and begin to straighten the legs. Bring the toes inward so that they are parallel to one another as you place your hands on the earth. Let's give a nice stretch to those hamstrings. For those of you who are more advanced, clasp your hands together and bring the elbows to the mat. Or if you need some more support in doing this posture, feel free to place blocks or a stool or something underneath your hands so that you can fully relax into this posture. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, move the toes back out away from you and bend the knees and bring the chest back up to goddess pose. Arms sweep overhead. Exhale, palms together, Anjali Mudra. Bring your focus back to your ujjayi breath. Feel the warmth spreading throughout your entire body. Root down through the balls of the feet as well as the heels. Inhale, arms reach around and up. Exhale, hands come through your center, feet turned in. Legs straighten and release over your legs. Stretch it out. Hips reach higher and higher into the sky. See if you can place your forearms on the mat. Interlace the fingers feet parallel to one another to really give your hips a nice release. Try to bend from the hips and don't curve the back too much. In Inhale, halfway lengthen, press up onto your hands if you're not there already. Exhale, roll all the way up to standing. Let's take a few steps to the front of your mat, feet together. Exhale, dive to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, step back into plank. Inhale, move forward. Exhale, lower, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bring the right foot up. Exhale, step between the hands and lift up into high lunge. Ashta Chandrasana. Sink deep in those hips. Right knee right on top of that ankle. Don't let it fall inward. Arms extending up and out through the shoulders. Energy extending all the way through the fingertips. Come back to your breath. Engage the lower abdominals. Inhale. Exhale, open the arms and spiral the back heel down to the mat into warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. One line from fingertips of the right hand to fingertips of the left. Gaze over your right hand.
Inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale, place the hands on the mat. Bend the left knee into Skadasana. You can stay here, or if you're comfortable and want to really warm the body, you can balance and take the hands into a prayer position, finding resistance between the left elbow and left leg, pressing out. Another step further, if it's within your practice, is to wrap that left arm around the leg and onto your back, and give a gentle twist as you reach the right arm around the back to grab the left hand into a bind. Bring your gaze up and above your right foot, Bring your mind back to your intention. Notice the rising and falling of the breath. Inhale, reach those arms around, back to your center. Hands to the mat. Press back up into warrior two. Left toes rotate towards the front of the mat. Take one inhalation. And on your exhalation, roll the back heel up. Hips turn slightly in to take high lunge. Hands up to the sky. Now, take the hands to the mat, step back into plank, and rotate over to your right arm for your side plank. Left arm extends up, inhale, hold it. Exhale, bring the left foot to the right knee. Left knee points up to the sky. Make sure there is a slight micro bend in that right arm. Press into all four corners of the palm to protect your wrist. If you're feeling discomfort in the wrist, try sending more weight onto the part of your hand where your index finger and palm meet. Hold it, beautiful. If you wish to extend that left leg out, like I'm trying to do here, and point the toes, reach and transfer the weight back to both hands. Step two feet to the top of the mat, forward fold. Exhale, roll all the way up to standing. Inhale, bring the bottom of the left foot to the inside of the right thigh. I'm sorry, this angle, this camera angle, makes the demonstration a little difficult, but you want to aim to bring your left heel all the way up to the crease of the right inner thigh with the knee pointing outward in order to take tree pose. If you want to challenge yourself a little bit, you can take the arms overhead. Find a point of focus, or what in yoga we call a drishti, in order to maintain balance. Now inhale, knee to chest, exhale, plant the left foot into the earth, and dive to forward fold. Hands on either side of the feet. Take two steps into plank. Come back to your ujjayi breath. Come back to your intention. Now we're going to take three chaturanga push-ups here, really igniting that inner fire. Ready, keep those elbows in. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, push back up. Hold that plank. Great work. Again, inhale, lower. Tricep strengthening, exhale, push back up. Wonderful. Keep holding it. Breathe. And last time, inhale, lower. Exhale, push back up. Good job. Let's push back into downward dog. Feel free to walk out your dog a little bit, bending one knee. Now inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step between the hands. Chest goes up to the sky, high lunge. Feel the power within the lunge. Let go of all negativity in this proud posture. Inhale, exhale, rotate the back heel to the mat. Arms open into Virabhadrasana two. Hips facing that top right corner of the mat. Engage the abdominals. Listen to the soft humming of your breath. Deepen your warrior two pose. Inhale, arms up, straighten the front leg, exhale, hands to the earth. Right toes turn out to bend the right knee and lower yourself to the mat. Skadasana. Point the left toes, extending your energy out beyond yourself. 
hands to prayer, or you can take your bind. Again, if you're feeling any pain or intense discomfort, don't hesitate to modify as you see fit. You can take a yoga block or pillow and place it under your hips for an easier or more mellow release. Whatever you need to do to make this posture work for you is totally fine. Just breathe here. Be present. Great work. Inhale, come back around to center, hands to the earth. Exhale, right foot turns in, the hips lift and come back to warrior two. Beautiful work. Inhale, high lunge, exhale, hands to the mat, step back into plank, rotate onto the left side for side plank. Protect that wrist. Press all points of the hand into the mat, focusing on that top right corner of the palm. Inhale, bring the right foot to the inside of the left leg, knee pointing up to the sky for this plank and tree pose hybrid. Reach the right fingertips up to the sky, gazes to the mat. Steady yourself. Slowly keeping that balance, extend the right leg, point the toes, nice job, and rotate to plank. Step between the hands, forward fold. Roll up one vertebrae at a time, sweep the arms overhead, right foot to tree pose, hands to heart center. You can grab that ankle if you want in order to pull it all the way up to the top of the leg and balance in the peaceful tree. Keep the palms pressing together as you lift them over the crown of your head. Find your drishti. Welcome light and love into your being. Lift the chin. Relax your face. Inhale, right knee turns in. Exhale, dive to forward fold. Step back into plank. Maybe even notice a slight burning sensation in your arms and abdominals. Just be here. Notice how your body's feeling. Back is as flat as you can be, like a table. And now let's take our yoga push-ups. Inhale. Lower, elbows in, exhale, push up. Hold the plank. Inhale, lower. Exhale, push up. Great work, one more. Inhale, lower. Exhale, back up, and this time, inhale, Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Heels sink down into your mat. Triceps roll inward so that your elbows face the ground. Gaze towards your toes. Inhale, look front. Exhale, walk to forward fold. Roll all the way up to standing, and let's return to our goddess pose. Face the side of the mat, feet gently turned out to the side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands come together, bend the knees. Well done. And breathe, you are powerful. Let's inhale, circle the arms down and up. 
exhale, feet parallel. Straighten the legs and fold over from the hips. Forearms reach to the earth. Each exhalation, release lower and lower to the mat. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, turn out the feet, bend the knees, and bring the chest back up to goddess. Try to get your hips in one line with your knees if you can. Beautiful. Embrace your inner goddess. And exhale, release to the mat, feet turn in and legs extend. Shoulders away from the ears. Give the backs of the legs one last good stretch. Well done. Let's return to a seated position. Cross your legs however is comfortable for you. And let's close off our practice here. Returning to our breath, to our intention. Hands to Anjali Mudra. Close your eyes. Feel the fire within you. The warm glow your body is giving. Thank your body for this practice today and bow to your heart. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you feel warm and motivated after this flow. Remember your ujjayi breath can be used whenever you want to quickly heat up the body from the inside. It's a great way to gently ease the muscles into a yoga practice or any sort of exercise class. I hope you enjoyed being with me on the mat. If you have any suggestions or requests, please feel free to comment below. Don't forget to share and subscribe to help mermaid yoga grow. Have a wonderful rest of your day.